Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Beast Claw Great Hammer, a great hammer with optimal scaling in both strength and dexterity. Now I did test a few different stat allocations, and honestly if you are one-handing the weapon, both the strength and the dexterity investment net you the same AR. If you go pure strength like I have it here, you're going to get 681. If you take the 40 points out of my strength and pour them onto dexterity, that way you keep the minimum strength requirement and scale it off the dex, it's still going to be 681, so the scaling on both of them is pretty equal. If you do want the highest damage output overall, I'd say a quality build is the way to go, probably 40 strength, 40 dex. It's a little bit more stat heavy. The reason I decided to go with the strength build for today though is I plan to use some of the beast in so we have bestial sling we have beast claw and then we have bestial vitality i feel like it just adds to the build we are using the beast claw great hammer thought why not use some of the beast incantations as well to mix it up i'm also using the claw mark seal for the beast incantation since it does allow them to scale off of the strength stat as for the stats i have 59 vigor i have the 28 endurance because it's the minimum needed for the weapons armor and talismans i plan to use for the showcase and then we have the 60 strength giving us the damage output from our weapon and then i have the minimum faith requirement for the weapon although it does scale a little bit off faith you get a lot more damage output from the strength and dexterity as for the choice of talismans, my first talisman slot is the one that I use to swap around. So I start off with the Ritual Shield Talisman to enhance my defense, and then I swap to the Shard of Alexander to boost the Ashes of War. My second talisman slot for this build as well, I might switch around. If I plan to use more of the incantations in the duel, I might use the Phlox Canvas Talisman to enhance the potency of the incantations. If not, maybe I'll give myself the jump attack boost, depending on if I'm going more for the weapon or the incantations that fight. And then I have the Crimson Armor Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Urtree's Favor plus 2 for the HP stamina and equip load boost. Now, taking a look at the moveset of the Beast Claw Great Hammer, it is a Great Hammer, so its two-handed lead attack chains are the vertical strikes, its heavy attack as well, the horizontal strike, followed by the secondary horizontal strike. If you fully charge them, the animation doesn't change at all, just the damage output. The running light, the vertical strike, and the running heavy, the upward strike, which kind of has a delay to the actual attack, so I feel like this can throw off your opponents. The jumping light, the standard horizontal strike, and the jumping heavy, the vertical slam. Nothing really too unique with this weapon. Its entire moveset is straightforward, just like other great hammers. It doesn't really have anything unique going for it. I would say other than its Ash of War, which is Regal Beast Claw. Has a nice projectile. If you happen to land with the hammer at the base of it, it's going to do quite a lot of damage, but you also get the added bonus of the projectiles for range damage. I'll also be using the Beast Incantations as well to mix it up, so maybe that'll throw our opponent's timing off. We can mix in the Beast Claw with the Ash of War for some extra projectiles as well. That's all I really have to say about the weapon, though. Let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, jumping into our first match, we have the Carrion Crusader. Hello there. Uh, I like how he's also doing a wave and bowing at the same time. Nice. Oh, he's buffing the scythe. Okay, that's different. Um... So yeah, intelligence-based build. Scythe. Give you a second to put your Krabby on. There we go. Um, I don't know how I want to start this. Really depends on if he's going to use magic or not right away. <laughs> so far, we have not touched each other. Fair. Oh, I did not dodge there when I thought I did. Very strange. Oh, quick step. Okay. I like that. Maybe we can try and use the Ash of War on this. Um, it's going to be an interesting one, to say the least. I don't know exactly the timing on it. <laughs> it wasn't that. What we did was not the correct timing. Oh, I was going to see if that could poise trade into that. <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem to be the case here. R2. Ah, uh, that would be a good change. <laughs> oh, I my reverse backstep also missed. <laughs> The amount of times me and a carrying crusader here miss each other is funny. Oop. Oh, the attempt at the backstab though, I saw it almost grab. It can work from time to time. It's just strange. Oh, okay, that's good. If they roll into you. Okay, not fast enough to go for a third swing if they roll towards you. But that seems to be working. If he dodges towards me for the bestial sling, uh, then we got something going. Oh, a trade again. I like that. Oh, we popped the bubble tier with that. <laughs> it's really not that strong, but it's doing some work. Oh, okay. It did the crutch attack. <laughs> oh, I actually got the back... The roll backstab. Wow. I don't think I've landed one of those in Elden Ring yet. Where, like, I predict where they're rolling and get the grab. 
Our connection was pretty good, Carry and Crusader. Very fun fight. Moving on to our next opponent, and I found Link. Hello again, hey, Link. Hey. How are you? I'm not a wizard today, so no wizard setup fighting, I suppose. <laughs> Get our stuff going here. All right, what does Link have in store for us today? The the great sword start off is is always the way. Gets the frostbite going, I'm guessing. Oh, a trade. Okay. I actually don't know what I want to try. Maybe we'll get a little bit more incantation damage boost. Oh, I was hoping you'd panic roll into that a little bit. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, yes, I'm kind of like a beast build here today. Oh, that was fully charged and only did 279. <laughs> That's not optimal. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's funny though. Uh, maybe the jumping R1 into the regular R1? Oh, he was prepared for that. I like that though. Oh, it's kind of weird because it stuns. <laughs> it's not bad actually. Oh, that could have been a backstab. I was a little bit on the slow recovery there. Oh, an R2 trade, okay. Um, what about a standard jump? Oh, the frostbite, but that happened to be just enough uh, health to finish it off. Very fun fight, Link. Interesting mix-ups with the Great Hammer and the incantations. I feel like it's, it's working pretty well. Heading into our next battle, we have Basic Samurai. Hello there. You know, I never really see that armor set. That's pretty cool. Um, He's got the bow and the katana. Yeah, let's go. All right, Basic Samurai, you have a katana. I like that setup. I have enough poise to tank the katana at least once while the light attacks. Now, I don't know if I'm going to land the Ash of War. That's really my goal here. It's a little on the... Oh, what the... That was weird. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, we'll put more incantation boost. I don't think he'll be ready for this because I haven't used it yet. Oh, but he was. Oh, he's getting packet lost randomly. Um, that's pretty scary. Like that, like, wait, our latency doesn't seem to be very high, but then randomly it becomes very high. It's interesting. Okay, that worked. Oh, like it's, it, it's honestly throwing off my timing a lot because he's getting stunned and hit very late. I'm gonna take away the bleed here. There we go. Okay, we popped the bubbles here. Which is pretty good. This is a good training method for me here. <laughs> It's, it's working. <laughs> this is happening so late. Okay, whoa. <laughs> very fun fight, Basic Samurai. I don't know, that match was just like a very interesting fluctuation of different like, timings on ping. It was weird. It seemed perfect at first, but then... <laughs> that was funny. Very fun fight though, Samurai. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Kane, also wielding a great hammer. I like it. You have the, the mace. The buff going. Yeah. So I'll make our defenses higher. Yes. Longer battle. All right. We both have a high physical damage. Now, what kind of Ash of War do you have on that? That's the real question. Let's try an R2. What about a follow-up R2? <laughs> I really want to try to land that. So far, we have not touched each other. <laughs> Jump attack! Oh, it was just out of range. <laughs> Dance of the Great Hammers. It's an art, really. <laughs> okay, the first time we hit each other. Um, okay, maybe I will land. Mm. <laughs> no! That's actually so much harder than you think to land. It comes at, at like a decent speed. Oh, you probably could have done that, Kane. I might have got hit by that. It's unfortunate. It would have been cool to see. No one really uses that Ash of War. Oh, I thought he might panic roll. He did not. <laughs> I'm I'm tempted to trade into that. 
<laughs> I thought he might roll towards me the way he's been playing. Oh, I popped it with the heavy. I understand why mine missed, but why did his miss, you know? Unfortunate. <laughs> the basic great hammer battle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not trading into that game. No, 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 no. Oh, I <laughs> you almost got me with that. <laughs> oh, such a fun fight, man. Great, great hammer battle. <laughs> Heading into our next battle, we have Ares. Hello there. Hey. How are you? Oh, you have a, a mail break? Or I don't know the name. Or is that the... Oh, okay. So it has a buff, and then you have a sight. Interesting. Different. <laughs> Ash of War! <laughs> Oh, that does some good damage, actually. Another one. <laughs> okay, that didn't work out. But what if I did something very similar? <laughs> Just in the form of incantations. Aha, face my beast claw. Face the power of the network test. Oh, I popped the bubble tier. <laughs> I'm a beast build. Oh, and then this to finish it. Oh, <laughs> I give him a bow. <laughs> oh, he wants to reset. Okay, that's that's totally fair. <laughs> Round two, <laughs> fight. <laughs> this is actually a good chain. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, that has good range. That has good damage. <laughs> Oh, very fun fight here. Very. <laughs> That's interesting. Heading into our final match, we have uh, Senor Squalo. Hello there. Hey. Interesting looking armor set. Crucible Knight. Godskin Peeler. And I think what looks like, uh, yeah, an incantation in his own hand. Okay. Oh, okay. Lightning. Oh, not worth <laughs> Scary. Very scary. Oh wait, what am I doing? I have things I can do when he casts. I have casting tools now. Here you go. <laughs> I have casts. Now it's time to use the weapon. <laughs> oh, interesting. Hey there. <laughs> Take my beast claw. I don't like that. Mostly because I don't know which one it is. This is always iffy for me. I'm going to roll through it, but like sometimes I can't. Oh, he's light rolling. Wow, that was awkward. <laughs> hey, man, come back. <laughs> I don't want to hit you with just the rock, though, but man, you're making. <laughs> you're going to make it happen. <laughs> Stop with the cast. <laughs> I'm trying to hit you with my great hammer. Come receive the bonk. <laughs> All right, now let's just see how this performs in the invasions. All right, heading into our first invasion, and we are in the Cathedral of the Manicellus. Is that what that just said? And I've invaded Nose. Uh. Hello, Nose? Oh, hello, there we go. How did I not see you standing there, Nose? Um, what even are those? Oh, I know what those are. Oh wait, you have your bus flask going. Sorry, I didn't notice. There we go. <laughs> That's a cool little attack. Um, let's see. How do I want to do this? Let's do this really quick. Yeah, that's always a good roll in. If they tend to roll in like that, try it again. <laughs> Interesting. Doing the exact same thing twice. I'm surprised. Will the third one be any different? R2? <laughs> oh, okay. Or I miss. <laughs> Those have a really interesting moveset, though. I do have to admit. I like the way they look. 
Oh, the mix up from the R1 to the R2 to the R1. Very fun fight. I have to give those a try, actually. Heading into the next invasion, we are at the brace of the Halig tree. Oh no, I, I think they're fighting the boss. Well, the Avatar boss. I'm pretty sure if that dies, I get sent home. Look at this sneaky teammate red I have. <laughs> we gotta get in there really quick, man. If they finish that, I think we get sent home. Oh well. That hurt everyone. Hurt you more than me, though. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm glad I could participate there. <laughs> well, we worked well together, me and the boss. <laughs> Uh oh. Okay, that was a really fast invasion. <laughs> Heading into the next invasion, we're in the Shaded Castle. Okay. Um, I believe there. Oh, they're fighting that thing. Can I like shortcut this? Oh my god, I can! Wow. I was kind of like joking, thinking I could do that, but no, it worked out pretty well. Hey guys. A wizard and a shield. A shield wizard. Um. Um. Oh my god. That's our latency. Are you, are you serious right now? Oh, that's so weird, man. That's so weird. <laughs> Just because, like, you can trade into my hits and not take them. You know what I mean? Like, it's so strange. What am I going to do about that? I guess this. Maybe he'll take the hit after, you know? Unless he just dodges later. I guess he doesn't know when the packets are coming, but... It's so weird. That might hit him. Might not. Hard to say, really. Oh, it did. Is that the jump attack, though, or the regular attack? I think he just dodged my Ash of War there. <laughs> He's living in the past. How do I, how do I fight? Oh wait, why'd that connect right away? Okay, that slicer has some pretty good range as well. I don't know how I'm gonna do anything about the guy that I can't really stun. Hey Blue, honestly, I'd rather fight you than what I've been dealing with over there. Like that's crazy over there. Oh, they came over. The Immortals have joined. Well, the Immortal, I, sh I should say. I think that'll kill Dima, maybe eventually. I don't know. I honestly can't tell because they take the hit so drastically late. There we go! The Sunbro died! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! My plan! It just, you know, it took a little bit longer than it should have, is all. That's all it is. <laughs> just receives it late in the mail, that's all. Hansk is poisoned now. There they both go. <laughs> Very interesting invasion, to say the least. That had to be some of the most interesting connection I've seen. Jumping into the final invasion, we're in the Forbidden Land. Oh, it's oh yes, I remember where this is. I don't think I've ever really invaded here. Um, are they just coming out of the cave? Hello there. Hi guys. Uh, Macovero is a wizard with the Moonlight Greatsword. And then we have someone in the back with twin straight swords, I believe. Oh no, twin anspers, okay. Twin Ansper rapiers. I have some long range too. We can start off by chip damaging with the rocks, I guess. That would throw them off. 
that a blessed <laughs> version of the Ansper? Oh, he's got like a blessed weapon on the Ansper, I see. A little bit of dodging goes a long way at first because we are fighting a wizard. Got some prospect buildup from that, but no damage because we are dodging it pretty well. Oh, interesting. Wow, that's quite the range. I never, I've never seen that. <laughs> that really would catch you off guard. Now I know, but yeah, that's definitely something. It's hard to punish. I can see that. Oh, I was going to say almost a triple roll catch, but he ran far enough away. out of the explosive range. Wizard still got some juices left. Another summon? Okay. Oh my god, it's a full bull goat. <laughs> the terror, okay. I see you up there. I see you up there. Oh, fuck. Here comes the cast. not gonna reach me. <laughs> Silly. That guy is only l 2 Oh god, that did a lot of damage to him though. It indeed did. Hey Mr. Bullgoat. I don't mind fighting. <laughs> There's a horse back there. Oh, there goes somebody. Hope it wasn't the host. Backstab? Uh, no, it was the other one. <laughs> Not of FP. <laughs> I didn't even realize. That would have actually been interesting to see if it would have hit or not. I'm not entirely sure if it would have. Maybe? He seems to only know L2. <laughs> you know those keep missing each other. <laughs> Enough of that. Goodbye, Rakdos. <laughs> he runs and does it on his dead body. <laughs> oh, that was an interesting invasion. Alright, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Beast Claw Great Hammer. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilize throughout the showcase, and of course, keep commenting weapon recommendations below. I really love reading through all of them. And there's lots of weapons I've used in the series that I otherwise would have forgot without them, so they are truly appreciated. Until the next video, though, I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.